All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Kessa Amos. And today I'm actually in Cameroon, in a place called Limbi. Uh, around that axis, there are a lot of different names, but I think the general name of this location is Limbi. So uh, we are actually here to set up a greenhouse farm. We've been doing this for quite some time, but the first time I'm actually coming down to inspect and stock i've been here for quite a few days and uh, we did the stocking yesterday and today i'll actually be carrying out training for most of the staff and uh, we should be rounding up by tomorrow so this is our first project in cameroon so for those in cameroon who would like to have a project like this we want you to know that we know our way to Cameroon right now. So just in case you're interested, you can give us a call, drop a message for us on WhatsApp. I'll be there to attend to your needs. And Cameroon is a beautiful place. I must confess, it's quite nice. I've been to a few places like uh, Bukaro uh, Down Beach. That's quite lovely. The sight during the night is very beautiful. So yeah, back to business. So these are the greenhouses. This is the first one. We have the second and the third, and that's our water tank there. So without wasting much time, we'll take you inside and just show you around. Of course, you've seen many of our greenhouse videos before, so it's nothing different from what you've been seeing both in Nigeria and in Ghana. So this is our first time in Cameroon, like we said. So this is the greenhouse, this is the inside. You can see this is our food part. Our regular food parts have been woods. Uh, many persons use concrete. We don't have issues with that, but most of us we use woods, very hard woods. So you can work on them for a number of years before you change. And like I said in some of our videos, the reason why we use wood is because it gives it an elevation from the ground so sometimes the snails find shade under the woods as well so now when you come in these are the feeders as you must have seen from many of our videos as well so there's one here and there's another here so come in now we gave them their feed yesterday so you can see the white particle on the woods those are the feeds for the snails and because we just talked to them yesterday they are still trying to get acclimatized to the environment so they didn't eat much of it but this feed will remain here till the evening and they will consume most of it by the night because it's the concentrate feed it won't go bad so yeah we'll just walk you through down and show you the other two greenhouses so this is what we have and also this is a dry season so we tend to water the greenhouses twice a day because of the amatan uh, the season here in cameroon is almost the same with what we have in nigeria so they are also experiencing the same cold amatan season we are actually making this video in january uh 2023 so it's a new year and uh, the conditions are almost the same between Nigeria and Cameroon in this part of Limbi. I don't know of other areas. So that is why we've just done the watering this morning. So usually in the dry season, you water your greenhouse twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. So like I said, if the snails have acclimatized, this feed you see here will not be here because they would consume it before the next day. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be putting in new feed. So what you expected to do is ensure that the greenhouse is well moisturized in the morning and in the evening. But during the um, rainy season, we do that just once a day. So you can see we stocked yesterday. You can see some of the snails here. Yeah. You can see it here and we have some of them here they're still trying to get used to the environment so you can see one here and there's another one here so yeah beginning to look for shade to hide themselves so that's the way it is in all the greenhouses so we just take you over to the other ones and we'll call it a day
all right so this is the second and we have the third here it's all the same in that so the land is a bit soupy so that's why we had to put these steps in order to give it a height and here we have the last greenhouse yeah so it's all the same all three greenhouses so just in case you want to set up your own snail farm here in cameroon you can always give us a call or drop a message for us so this is what we have going on here location once again is in limbe uh, i don't know the name of this exact place but it's somewhere around limbe uh, i think i came in through wovia beach so it's kind of in a close proximity to Wovia Beach, if you know that location, then you should know the area and axis we are. All right, so thank you. That's all we have for you today. Thank you, and do not forget to subscribe and like and share. God bless you, and bye bye.